was one of my eighth graders um, from my previous uh, years working at Augs, and um, she was showing some promise and a lot of uh, skills in regards to the program where it was more on the computer based. We used Tinkercad. Well, as she was progressing with her project, um, I definitely uh, saw her as a great candidate for uh, virtual reality and creating the project onto uh, VR. So um, taking a look at this uh, video, uh, it really shows the process of how she creates her, uh, her fictional character um, and crafts it out using organic shapes. Uh, it's almost like you're, you're, you have clay and you're sculpting it out using these tools available to add additive design as well as subtractive. So um, knowing the process is really, really useful. Um, also keeping in mind that she did add paint and color to it. Um, we did export it as an STL and printed it uh, one color because uh, the Dremel printer that we have only prints PLA plastic in one color. However, if you do save in Masterpiece VR uh, your file and export it as a OBJ, uh, you can keep the colors. So if you uh, want to paint that and that's an option and you have a printer that can print multiple colors, um, save it as an OBJ and then uh, 3D print it uh, using plastic PLA in various colors. Um, and so uh, you can see on the next slide, uh, she painted it, but we were only able to print it off in one white color, and then she was going to prime it down and add acrylic paints uh, afterwards.